So this is Updater Analytics running on Google Finance and uh, Updater of course runs on a whole series of professional market terminals, uh, trading platforms and data feeds but Google Finance is one that you can add in to get additional data that you may not have in your own market terminal coverage or you just want to run on some free data so um, this pulls the data from um, Google so uh, really really powerful um, in, and many people look at their um, uh, stocks through Google Finance um, and every time you enter a stock in Google it gives you this code and it's this same code that you would type in Updater. So I literally enter that code uh, in Updater and it goes to Google Finance and grabs the chart and you can see it's super quick and these histories are, are uh, brilliant, they're long, they're free, um, and so straight away you can then start applying all of the powerful analytics that Updater gives you. And uh, there's a whole series of analytical tools with Updater that you just couldn't find anywhere else. It's, uh, you know, really is um, the, the best technical analysis system going, which is why we've won the uh, best technical analysis platform for four years uh, above everybody else. Remember that people who run Bloomberg and, and Thomson Reuters run Updater on top of those systems for even better technical analysis. But it doesn't just stop there with the technical tools, it's the ability to do things like scanning. So for example what I could do is I can go to um, uh, the internet and I can say okay let's get the NASDAQ 100 and I can just grab um, you can just take this off any website and I'll just take uh, the list here off uh, 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 just a website that's got the NASDAQ 100 list on it Go control C I take that to a spreadsheet um, and in fact if I just go straight to the spreadsheet copy um, into the spreadsheet so it's going to copy those uh, codes across I then literally just go and grab those codes um, from the spreadsheet and uh, this is the NASDAQ 100 and um, and I take those codes control C go into updater and I can actually create my own NASDAQ list so I go to the quotes I go new <coughs> and I create this from the pasted text um, so I go there and I go back to just go back to look at the syntax and you'll see that for every NASDAQ code it has this syntax NASDAQ um, colon so you can do this on, on pretty well any list so I then go and add that suffix to the list um, and you can find and replace things if you've got already got bits in there that you want to remove just to get the raw codes. I add those in uh, and I already you can see I put those on the wrong side so um, I'm going to just basically go um, and find that, um, replace it, taking it all back and it's a prefix in fact so I'm going to put it in front um, so this time it's got them all right. I then select which data feed it is so in this case it's Google. Uh, it will show a list of all the feeds that you're compatible with and then if I go NDX, uh, in fact I'll just call it NASDAQ um, 100 Google. So um, I create that list um, and uh, it straight away has created that watch list and then here we are in Updater, that's the list it's created straight away and all of those charts will become quickly available to me so I can just double click and the speed at which these charts um, pull in is, is really powerful and uh, you, of course you can, just, you can just see that for yourself as we go um, through the list there. It's just pulling all of that data off the internet. So because it's of that speed and that power and the caching ability we can then do some really powerful things uh, when it comes to scanning. So if I wanted to run a scan for example where I want to look at on balance volume divergence and I c there's a whole uh, list of pre-written highlighters in Updater but you can you can literally um, scan pretty well any criteria you want technically and any um, combination of those criteria so custom indicators point and figure ones we will look at those in a minute where you can actually say um, I want to find stocks that have got more than 50% upside um, candle patterns and divergence. So you, there really is no limit. You should scan for head and shoulders. You can scan for pretty well anything you want. So um, here we're going to scan the uh, the NASDAQ 100 list. 
I quickly run through this uh, list and so it's going to run through the histories and you can see here it's got a little bit of work to do in scanning for divergence. It's quite a, it's quite a challenging scan. It's it's basically saying um, that you know I'm looking for on balance volume divergent on balance volume that's doing something different from the price, and so it's running through uh, the list. And you know of course it's got it's it's got to um, do a little bit more calculation than say maybe just finding a candle pattern or something uh, that simple. So we can actually just uh, stop it there. It found 16 at about the halfway mark and I can then just go through the charts and here we see price falling volume rising so there's a good example as I say it's the sort of thing that's easy to see on the chart but quite a challenge to actually scan for it again here price rising volume falling so um, and you could scan for divergence on any indicator you like um, that's it's really key so then if we look at some bigger lists um, so what I did is I went away on the internet um, so if you go and look at uh, Nasdaq um, the the complete Nasdaq list for example so this um, takes you to the Nasdaq and here you can download the full list of the Nasdaq site of the Nasdaq um, composite and that is a much bigger list um, and in fact it's uh, it's a, it's over 3,000 constituent stocks uh, it creates that list and updater and then I ran the scan so I scanned for stocks that had more than 40 percent upside and there are 231 of those more than 80 percent upside and there's 86 of those and those stocks that have got more than 100 percent upside so there's 59 stocks in that list of 3,000 uh, this these scans take a bit longer to run about 20 minutes uh, depending on the speed of your computer of course uh, this isn't an especially fast uh, machine that I'm running here and so now I'm scanning through the results and these are the stocks that are set potentially to double now this one needs to move to a new high and that would activate 126 percent upside so um, we're just seeing here where those um, targets are coming from again another one here needing to make a new high but out of 3,000 stocks it's got you to the 50 stocks uh, really really quickly so just again a really powerful aspect of the system uh, updater also comes with a full uh, blown system testing library so here again I'm testing Nasdaq uh, uh, data that's come off Google uh, testing here for the actual for the Google share price itself testing the RSI um, and how that would work if, and then I could optimize those variables as well um, take a look at some of our other videos on system testing and, and some of our technical analysis features but that's updater running on Google Finance data why not give it a try yourself and see just how good it is the ability to get much much more value from that free data source